in just a few hours. We've been talking about it. It's an exciting day here. Polling places will open across North Carolina. It's the first day of early voting. Wake up Charlotte's Billie Jean Shaw joining us live at the Spectrum Center. So Billie Jean, Spectrum Center is one of several big venues opening across Charlotte to help with the rush of early voters. So Ben mentioned it, but Bank of America Stadium as well. And these are really cool spots to go to. Good morning, Carolyn. So you may be wondering, why am I going to a sports arena or an entertainment center to go voting? It's a pretty big space. Well, that's the whole point. The county wants to make sure that voters have enough space to properly social distance and that they can move pretty fast when it comes to casting their vote. It's day one of early voting in North Carolina. The polls are open from 8 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. on weekdays, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturdays, and 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. on Sundays. If you do plan on voting early, experts say pack your patience. In states like Georgia and Texas, a massive turnout causing long lines at early voting sites. And experts say we could see something similar right here in North Carolina. Plan your vote. That's what we're telling everybody. Plan your vote. Know what you want to vote for. Plan where you want to go and plan what time you want to go. In Mecklenburg County, there are 33 early voting sites, including the Queen City's biggest sports and entertainment arenas, the Bojangles Coliseum, Bank of America Stadium, and Spectrum Center. And because of COVID-19, your polling site will look a lot different this year. For example, the Spectrum Center has installed sneeze guards to protect voters and poll workers. Voting machines are six feet apart. And to keep germs from spreading on the touchscreens, you'll get a prepackaged stylus pen to select like the candidate of your choice. And oh yeah, don't forget your mask. If you're watching this and you're thinking, oh my goodness, I did not even register to vote, so I can't go out today. That is wrong. There is on-site registration. So if you haven't registered, you can go to any of those polling locations. Just have proof of where you live. You can register the same day and vote the same day. Ben and Carolyn, I'll send it back to you. 